Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to go as uh, Nabad, I guess. I don't, I haven't really played as these guys before, but I know they're interesting, so why not give it a go? Um, kind of an interesting idea, but also apparently, apparently, this has been fixed. Yes, there you go. Eclipse curse disabled. Good. So I can disable the eclipse curses now. Awesome. Yeah, so let's let's figure out how this guy exactly works, because I don't remember in the slightest. Um, and we can go and take a little bit of a look on the description. Okay, so um, manage your red health to get more opportunities to detonate. Unique synergies with bomb items, and he'll accompany. We get an accompanying Abu to distract us. So basically, we. I don't think we shoot. Oh no, we do shoot. Um. It says detonate, okay, E to detonate, basically rather than using bombs. Basically, our health is our bombs, which is an interesting concept. We can, oh, this guy sets people on fire as well, nice. Yeah, an interesting concept for sure. Um, so he does do some damage, he just doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. He's mainly there to cause distraction. But yeah, bombs, as you can see, we cannot pick them up. Um, we're going to be wanting to get as many stuff as we can to uh, refill our red hearts. But goddamn, it's a full red heart. It's a full red heart to do that. Probably won't be using that super often. Now, does this heal us? It does. Okay, that's good to know. So, we can heal ourselves using bombs. That makes it a little more viable, because now we've got actual health pickups and bomb pickups that can help us out. It just means getting to, like, secret rooms and stuff is a little more risky, a little more difficult. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the secret room is here, but I kind of think it's above us. Alright, get rid of you first. Yeah, it is. Nice one. Okay. Cool. Hey, there you go. Look, I mean, a burn heart, is that really going to be that good for us? I don't know. I don't know. But maybe. I'm going to find my item room here first. <sighs> but yeah, at the minute, unfortunately, today is a very, very busy day for me. I've got to go... To a, I've got to go on a trip tomorrow for work, uh, which means I've got to get my videos prepped for tomorrow because I'm not going to be home. Uh, well, I've got to go tonight, actually, and then I'll be away tomorrow. But it means I've got to prep videos today for tomorrow. But I've also got to do a bunch of prep for the actual reason that I'm going away. So it's 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 a bit of a kerfuffle. It's a bit of a kerfuffle. Good old luck penny there. Hey, tank boys. I don't mind a bit of tank boys. I mean, I've been getting reasonably lucky with drops so far, so I might as well destroy the poops. I mean, look at this. No petrified poop, and we're getting absolutely tons of stuff. Right. I'll check out the shop just because I've got an okay amount of money. I can buy an active item or a soul heart or something. Let's see what's what. Uh, we can get compost, I guess. Um, compost isn't the best, but it's decent. I guess I could also bomb this guy in the chance to get the eraser. Do you know what? I think I'd rather go for the eraser. So let's uh, let's let's first of all check our, um, what's it called, room. Sacrifice room for a heart. Unfortunately not. We'll do our boss then. I just don't want to lose my burn heart, really. I don't I don't even know if I will lose my burn heart. Or if I'll just lose another red heart. I'm not entirely sure how it'll decide. But uh, I'd rather do the boss first anyways. Come on, tank boys. Yes, baby, yes. Okay, good that he's distracting. It's very, very nice. But only partially. Not all the time. Just got to be aware that tank boys... They do like to fire their uh, explosive shots every now and again, and they can hurt us. Look at him go. Look at him go. Okay. So I think I can grab it now. If we don't get the nickel, then I'm buying compost, I guess. Didn't get the red heart I was looking for, but hey her. We got it. I didn't break our bone heart. Nice. Okay, cool. Now we've got the eraser. Don't exactly know where I'm going to use this, but it's nice to have. It's nice to have indeed. Unfortunately, there's nothing to use it on this floor. Bit of a waste, but I have made everything perish, so there's not much I can do about that. Yeah, pretty interesting character. I do quite like him. I do quite like him. Um, tried to think what my first victim will be of the uh, the Eraser here. Probably spiders. These guys are a decent contender, though. All of the everything in this room could go, and I would not be. Uh, I would not be displeased. Right, you nuke him. Good, good. Ooh. 
Can I just erase this room? <laughs> Can I just get rid of that room forever, please? Oh, did you see that? That missile was like slow-mo. I could see that coming and I still just walked right into it. That was very shit of me. <laughs> I just had no, no safety about myself whatsoever there. No concern for my safety whatsoever. Hey, some healing there. Um, I finished watching Fallout yesterday. It's very, very, very good. Um, I, I highly, highly recommend it to anyone, Fallout fan or not. Um, I highly recommend it. Oh, you, you are, you are a contender. I'm gonna hold off still. I'm gonna hold off still. Good. Wow, brother Bobby. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for that game. What I was waiting for. Fucking brother Bobby. Nah, we still not really got any enemies that are the best for this. Come on, game. Don't don't shaft me. Okay, there you go. Hey, okay, I managed to get spiders gone. That's a good one to get gone. They are pretty much everywhere, and they're always annoying. So, very nice to have them dealt with. A is an interesting item. I think that was one that was originally an anti-birth. Good old anti-birth. These guys are going to be annoying because they're going to get set off my boys firing rockets. And Ooh, wow. Good bit of damage you did there, sir. Wasn't expecting it. Not got precedent to use my, uh, use my bombing ability at the moment because I don't want to lose my burn heart to a bit of damage after I use my bomb. Although it would make this fight significantly quicker. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Someone's shots are slowing him down. Is it Brother Bobby's? Okay. Easy enough kill there. Speed up's not bad. I'm going to check the devil deal. Yeah, I'll take money equals power. I kind of need the HP, but I think money equals power is pretty damn good. And the, the bombing with red hearts thing is like, yeah, it's a bit risky, but I don't think I'm going to use it that much. I don't think it's going to be something that I use all the time. I I don't know what happened there. I meant to use a bomb. I meant to bomb open this chest. And what I did instead was not that. Was not that. I just used my eraser and threw it at the nothing. That was a bit of a major waste there. My bad. Bit of a major waste. It's an unfortunate incident that... I'm going to say it could not have been avoided, but everyone knows that's a lie, but just just, just, just pretend. Let's just pretend. Right, so for our Yara rune, we're looking for an, a, a large amount of money we can duplicate for uh, damage, or we're looking to save it for sort of a lot of HP or something down the line. I'm not sure yet. Let's, uh, let's quickly go in here, because we've got hearts about... Lovely stuff. Could have even yared those if I wanted to, but didn't feel the need for this one around. Uh, in terms of the question of the day, I, I, I don't know how I got eight minutes in without asking a question of the day here. Um, what's what's one of the worst video games you've ever played? What's, what's a video game that you would just never wish on your worst enemy? Ooh. Ooh, did we crash or just freeze? The music's still going, so I'm not sure. One second. Um, okay. It definitely crashed. One moment. Okay, we are back. Unfortunately, we are going to have to replay this, but it does mean I, uh, I get my eraser back, which is kind of nice. Um, we can go and bomb. Do that. Grab that. Yeah, that's, so I'm, I'm not too miffed about this, to be honest. I'm not too miffed about it. I managed to save myself a little bit here, which is good. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like what what's, what what would you say is like the worst game you've ever played that you just wouldn't wish on your worst enemy? Like it was just purely unpleasant or like a terrible game. I think for me, like I wouldn't say it's the worst game ever, but I I bought Far Cry 6 and I got about 5 hours into it and then just never played it again because it's just like compared to like Far Cry uh, like 3 and Far Cry 5, which are two really good game entries. It just was pretty meh. Oh, okay. 
So this room just breaks the game, apparently. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's something to do with the tanks on the lily pads or something? Either way, we are out of this again. Come on, let me pause the recording. Why is it not letting me pause the recording? Okay, we're back once again, but I guess we just don't go up this time and hope we don't have to go that way, otherwise we're gonna have a problem. It seems like the game is doing some annoying things. Okay. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I think it's something to do with the lily pads. I'm guessing walking on those is not agreeable to uh, my tank boys or something. Holy shit, tank boy. You, uh, you alright there? You, uh, you kind of blew up everything. Right. Let's pop in here. Overhealing charges a special heart. Filling this heart grants an empty heart container. Hmm. Okay. Seems interesting. Seems interesting. Oh, dude. We can fill it up with bombs, too. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Oh, bugger. It looks like we are going to have to go that way. I'm not exactly sure how to solve this, then. I'm not exactly sure how to solve this. Yeah, look, there you go. I can overheal with bombs. That's pretty cool. It's a very, very good uh, item for us to have. I don't think there's anything up here either. Okay, I'm, I think I'm going to have to do an Emperor card teleport past that room. I think that's going to be the only decent way that I can manage this. So I come back here. Grab both of those. And then we go, um, I think it's spawn, 5.300.5, yes, I remember. Oh, unfortunately though, my Yera, I, I guess I'll just have to spawn a Yera rune. Let's just, spawn Yera, 5.300.33, 5.300.33. 300.33. Okay. We've at least got that sorted now. Annoying, but there's at least the console commands give us ways around these annoying little foibles that we come across. It's better than it just not working altogether and has been completely stuck on this run. Don't know why I decided to run in the way that I did there, but it was not ideal. This guy's actually taking a beating here. We've not got great damage yet. And tank boys on this boss aren't doing much of anything, so... Okay, screw's good stuff. Unfortunately, this floor is not a lot of enemies we're going to see again, so I've not found anything to get rid of yet. Yeah, unfortunately, not much to get rid of. Is that a, a dip that I can kill? Ah, it's going to die to everything else. My bad. We got a half soul heart there. Nice. Okay, just don't go below and we'll be fine. Hello. What do you do again? Um, Just drop this. I think this is just Bacano, to be fair. It is. I had a feeling it was just Bacano, but I had to give it a go. Okay, so it's not it's not to do with the lily pads. Because we were in a room with lily pads there and it was fine. Right, unfortunately, didn't get to use our eraser yet again. Not ideal. But we shall go down to the next floor. Feeling decent about this run thus far. Feeling decent. Feeling like we can rebuild the streak off of this guy. Mustard seed, very, very nice. And it's extra HP as well. You definitely 100% want to get rid of you. They're not super common, but they are really annoying when they do appear. I'd rather just get rid. As would any sane person. I'm trying to keep my locust of wars alive for an enemy that actually matters. So what? Why can't my... Where's my China heart gone? I'm confused. I swear I could pick up bombs to, to fill it before. But it's not on my chest anymore. I am confusion. I am very confusion. Yeah, doesn't as I was talking about earlier, doesn't it kind of suck when you're like really into a game series and then like the next game? Why can't I pick these up now? 
Um, and then, like, the next game in the series just is just not good. One of the series I was talking about recently is so my girlfriend recently bought Doom Eternal for her PlayStation and has been playing through a bit of Doom Eternal. Um, and I say I keep saying girlfriend, fiance. God damn, I'll learn eventually. I'll learn eventually. Uh, but but either way, she's been playing through some Doom Eternal, and I was saying that Doom has got to be like one of the most consistent series ever. Like. It's always been good. I think the only the only like, entry in the series that people could probably make a case for not being great was Doom 3. But even then, Doom 3 has like a pretty big fan base. It's just different. It's just a, like very weird compared to regular Doom. It's more alien inspired than um, than hell inspired. I think from what I've seen. Um, but even then, I don't, yeah, I don't think people really generally class it as a bad game. And I think pretty much every Doom entry has been well received um it's, it's just a pretty consistent series and then like with the reboot with doom 2016 and then doom eternal both of those games were fantastic i mean especially doom eternal i absolutely love that game i played it to death um yeah unfortunately I'm, my heart of china thing isn't working the way i thought it was working so maybe i was mistaken in what i saw i don't know Maybe I was mistaken. You've got destroyed. You have been nuked, my good sir. You have been nuked. But yeah, I'm very interested to see what happens with uh, the next season of the Fallout series. Because it has been confirmed to have a season 2. Um, and it seems like it's going to be a pretty interesting one. And definitely a bit fan service which is not a bad thing. Uh, as long as they do it right. And I, I think based on how they've done the first season, it probably will be done pretty well. I don't think we've got too much to worry about. Seems like they're, uh... It's in good hands. I did do a bomber on him there. Didn't have to, but... Oh, I lost my burn heart because of it, though. Those goddamn rock spike things are the absolute worst. Right. Got him. Heal two. That's pretty good. And then we'll check out what we've got going on in here. Yeah, I'll take that. I do like this bad boy. I wonder if this healing two at the start of every floor will um, will fill up my China heart by two. I, it's impossible to tell at the moment. Impossible to tell. Curse of Jamming. Is that not one of the curses that I disabled? Eclipse curse disabled. Wait a minute. Just just type in Eclipse. See what the actual co command is. Eclipse. Yeah, I don't know. This this is definitely one of the Eclipse curses. So I don't know what's going on. The developer said it was fixed, and it's not giving me an error anymore. So, but it's clearly yeah, clearly not working as it should be. Oh my god, there's a, there's a lot going on in here. Gives you birthright for the current floor. Interesting. That's a lot of tears up, baby. Kind of wish I'd have yared the, uh, the old tears up big pill now, but we couldn't have known. We just gained a lot of tears, though. Lovely stuff. Yeah, having having a snake boy go around is pretty good. I just wish he'd target like one enemy. I wish he'd just focus down on an enemy rather than zooming and doing a little bit of damage to everyone. You can't control the snake. The snake controls you. Mysterious liquid and lawn darts are both really, really good. I'm buying them both. I realize I'm losing damage off of doing that, but they're both very, very good. And I would like to have them. Nice and easy. Don't know if the spikes are meant to come up again there, but... Ooh, golden pill as well. Feels like I'm walking on the Unsure exactly what happened here. I can see forever. Shot speed up, infested. Paralysis, no! No! <laughs> 
More infested. Some x lax Oh my god, how did I dodge that? Health down, no. Okay. Not ideal. Not ideal. But that gives us some money back, which is kind of nice. A little bit of damage going. Right. Go back and get my Yera, wherever that is. Okay. Now I can come back over here. I can grab these bombs to heal. And I can grab that red heart to fill up my China bar. Hey, heart container. It has been gained. Although now our burn heart is unfilled. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, for fuck's sake. Game's a goddamn joke. How dare you, game? How dare you? That was disrespect of the highest degree. Also, I've, I've realized that I'm... The fuck is going on? I'm coming up on 2,000 hours on Steam on Isaac. We're getting there. We're getting there. Soon. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say soon. At some point in the future, I am going to be switching up my Isaac content and just my channel's content in general. Um, Isaac is... Still enjoyable, but it's becoming staler and staler for me because I've played it for so long. Um, so it's, it's one of those games that I'm like, eh, at some point I'm probably going to pack it in. And I wouldn't say completely, like, stop doing it. Ooh, hello. Uh, I wouldn't say completely stop doing it. Oh, I think I think I see what's happened here. I think I've uh, taken too much time. No, I'm good. Um, yeah, but basically, I, I think it'll just be something that I might reduce the... Uh, Reduce the amount of slots it takes up a week. And I'm, I might replace it with other stuff, or I might just lower the amount that I upload. I'm not sure yet. It really depends. Uh, I still really enjoy doing YouTube, and I still do enjoy Isaac. But yeah, it's just like... I don't know, having having a game like this is... It's, it's difficult, because I, I lock myself into like one type of content. Like, quite easily. And that's obviously not good. Oh, do we crash again? After that entire floor, are you kidding me? Oh no, this is infuriating. Oh my god. This this is the shit that I can't deal with, my god. Right, I'll just leave it, leave it rolling. We'll boot the game back up again. I'll, I'll just debug 10 that floor. But that's... That's real annoying, that is. That's real annoying. Oh, man. I've not really had many crashes recently, but this episode, uh, this character, I don't know what it is. Something's crashing quite a lot. Maybe the Eclipse mod is just kind of having some issues right now. Right. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got to redo that whole floor now because of the way that fucking Isaac does its saving. But we can put Debug 10 on and make things a lot easier on ourselves. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll basically go through and do everything that we did before. But yeah, I don't know why I've still got care, like, how we got care to jamming. That's really annoying. We shouldn't have got that. Okay, we opened that up and we got two completely different items. Give Sterius C317 and give Lawn Darts. Okay. I know I didn't spend the money, but whatever. What, what? What's with that? What's going on there? What enemy could be causing that to happen? Okay. There's that golden pill. Right, just use it the whole way. We we'll use it the whole way last time, so. Right, there you go. Quickly go back here. Just don't pick up this money this time, I guess. That's going to be my way of repenting for the money that I illegally gained, I guess.
I'll um, bomb this. Why not? Vibrant bulb again. Good. I don't remember which room it was that I went into to cause the uh, cause the crash last time. So I'm a little bit lost on that. Was it this one? It better not be this one. All right. Actually, let's let's just do this real quick. Exit and continue because that'll save our progress on where we are on the floor. Just reactivate debug ten. Okay, we got Clutch's Curse, which I, I'm not a big fan of, but I'll take it, because memes. Okay. Shop, what you got for us? Black Candle seems goddamn amazing for us right now to get rid of curses. Even for the money cost. Right. We can turn off Debug 10 now. I think it was going into that second curse room, so I'm just not going to go in there. Didn't get a chance to use my eraser, but that's okay. Oh yeah, this game's been frustrating at the moment. I think it's it, with Isaac. It's it's one of those things where, at the moment, like it, it, sort of going back to what I was talking about before about like how long I'm gonna do Isaac for. It's one of those things where at the moment I don't like having to record Isaac every day. As in, like it can be inconvenient to record Isaac every day. Um. And it sometimes can be difficult when I've already played a lot of it. So the best way forward for me, the best way to like that I get more enjoyment out of playing Isaac is to backlog episodes and make sure I have them prepped like in advance. But to to backlog episodes, I have to record like five, six in a day, which is way more difficult because it's just it's quite draining and just ge just generally it is more difficult on like what to talk about and topics and stuff like that. And just like trying to consistently play well as well, so it, it it it's got there's there's a problem at either end sort of thing. There's 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 a problem at either side that makes it difficult to sort of keep playing this game. Oh, dude, I can't, I can't do this. What's what's crashing my game? I I can't keep. This is a really sucky way to end an episode, but I can't keep rebooting the game when it crashes. This is a real shame, because this is a potentially interesting run, but I can't I can't keep this going, because I'm just going to spend my entire day replaying floors. Because the game... If the game saved after every room, then it wouldn't be as big of an issue. But because I have to replay the whole floor each time, it makes it a major inconvenience, and we don't even know what's causing it. Um, it doesn't seem to be anything to do with the tiers we've got. It might just be the character we're playing as. I, I don't know. Either way... Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this. I, I know it's not the best episode I've ever produced. I promise the next one will be better. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.